good morning and welcome to Holy Innocence Morning Prayer this Monday, March 15th. Hope you all are having a great day um, and you're ready for a good new week. Um, glad you're here starting your day with worship um, and that you've adjusted to the spring forward time. So maybe people are a little bit sleepy. This is the first weekday. Um, of our new timing, but it was really nice last night to have it be so light, so late. Um, as always, we're here just a couple minutes early to allow people to get the chance to get logged on um, before we start with prayer. So as you get on, if you can please just let me know that you're here, say hi. Um, I would love to be able to be a community with you all. So good morning, Ernestine. Good morning, James. Thank you all for being here and good morning, good afternoon to anyone who's watching later. Um, if you would like to follow along for our readings, um, today we'll be reading Psalm 89 verses 1 through 18, which you can find on page 713 of your Book of Common Prayer. Um, our Old Testament reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 16 verses 10 through 21. And our Gospel reading today comes from John chapter 6 verses 1 through 15. So if you would like to turn to those pages, um, you can follow along with me. Otherwise, you can listen. Um, if you would like an evening prayer opportunity, I will be leading a service of Compline on Zoom tonight at 7 p.m. And would love to have you there, even if it's your first time. Um, we will welcome you with open arms. It's about 30 minutes um, and a great restful way to kind of end the night. Um, and it could be a new practice for this Lenten season. So hope to see you there. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. for Prayer with Trey. Um, I'll give just another minute or so before we get started, but as you get logged on, please let me know that you're here. I'll say hi um, before or after the service. Um, our readings again are gonna be Psalm 89, verses one through 18, which you can find on page 713 of your Book of Common Prayer. Um, our Old Testament reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 10 through 21. And our gospel reading for today comes from the book of John um, chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. So I hope you can follow along or listen along. Um, good morning, Nancy. Thanks for being here. Um, and again, Compline tonight, 7 p.m. on Zoom if you would like to join. Otherwise, we'll be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow with Trey. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on page 76 of your Book of Common Prayer. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning now to page 82, let's say the Venite together. So that's page 82 of your Book of Common Prayer. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it 
and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. So turning now to page 713, we will say our psalm appointed for today, Psalm 89, verses 1 through 18. So that's on page 713 of your Book of Common Prayer. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth is also yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a strong mighty arm, strong as your hand and high as your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor, our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 10 through 21. And when you tell this people all these words, and they say to you, Why has the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? What is our iniquity? What is the sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then you shall say to them, It is because your ancestors have forsaken me, says the Lord, and have gone after other gods, and served and worshipped them, and have forsaken me and not kept my law, and because you have behaved worse than your ancestors, for here you are, every one of you, following your stubborn evil will, refusing to listen to me. Therefore, I will hurl you out of this land into a land that neither you nor your ancestors have known, and there you shall serve other gods day and night, for I will show you no favor. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, as the Lord lives who brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives brought the people of Israel out up of the land of the north, and out of all the lands where he had driven them. For I will bring them back to their own land that I gave to their ancestors. I am now sending for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they shall catch them, and afterward I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt from them from every mountain and every hill, and out of the clefts of the rocks. For my eyes are all in their ways. They are not hidden from my presence, nor is their iniquity concealed from my sight. And I will doubly repay their iniquity and their sin, because they have polluted my land with the carcasses of their detestable idols, and have filled my inheritance with their abominations. O Lord, my strength and my stronghold, my refuge in the day of trouble, 
to you shall the nations come from the ends of the earth and say, Our ancestors have inherited nothing but lies, worthless things in which there is no profit. Can mortals make for themselves gods? Such are no gods. Therefore, I am surely going to teach them. This time, I am going to teach them my power and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turning to page 86, let's say canticle number 9, the first song of Isaiah together. So that's page 86 of your Book of Common Prayer. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw, to, draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him, because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not be enough to buy bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told the disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled up twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This indeed is the prophet who has come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turning to page 93, let's say canticle number 18, A Song to the Lamb, together. So that's page 93, canticle 18. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. We'll continue on page 96 with the Apostles' Creed together. So that's page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us, and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Turning to page 99, let's say a collect for peace together. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On page 101, let's say a prayer for mission together. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. And let's say the general thanksgiving together on page 101 to close. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you all for being here this morning. It's great to start the day in prayer with you. Good morning, Ernestine and James. Good morning, Nancy and Sally. Good morning, Marilyn and Kit and Nancy. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Carolyn. 
Good morning, Margaret and Terry and John and Barbara and Sunny. Um, so great to have you all here. Good afternoon. Good, you know, happy Monday to anyone watching later. Um, we're glad to have you as part of our worshiping community as well. Um, if you would like to pray again today um, with some company, I'll be leading a service of Zoom, a service of Zoom, a service of Confluent on Zoom tonight at 7 p.m. and would love to have you there. Otherwise, you'll all be in my prayers for the rest of the day, the rest of the week, um, and hope you all are doing well, and we'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. for Morning Prayer with Trey. So stay well until then. Bye, y'all.